Tesla has announced a massive investment in its battery factory located in Giga, Nevada. This investment is a clear indication of the company's commitment to revolutionizing the global automotive industry through the widespread adoption of sustainable energy solutions. Tesla's battery technology has already demonstrated significant potential in terms of improving the performance and efficiency of its electric vehicles. And this investment in Giga Nevada will only accelerate this trend. The factory's expansion will create more job opportunities and bolster the local economy. With a promising future ahead, Tesla is poised to lead the charge in the development of renewable energy solutions and the reduction of carbon emissions. Which begs the question, how are Elon Musk's battery factory investment projects, and how will Tesla develop in the near future? All that and more in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to Tesla Car World, where we bring you the latest updates on all things Tesla. Thank you for tuning in, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay Stay up to date on the happenings over at Tesla. Now, let's dive into today's topic. Tesla has officially announced its expected new battery and semi factories in northern Nevada, along with $3.6 billion in investment to make them happen. But are these actually new factories, or simply the completion of Gigafactory Nevada to its originally planned size? We reported on the Nevada governor hinting at plans for Tesla's new factory, which were expected to be officially unveiled. Tesla has now put up a blog post describing its progress with its previous investments in Nevada and the plans for this new investment. So how's this investment project going? Tesla says that it has already spent $6.2 billion in Nevada and hired 11,000 employees while creating 17,000 local construction jobs building out its Gigafactory there, and that the company has produced 7.3 billion battery cells, or around 37 gigawatt hours or more, annually, one and a half million battery packs, 3.6 million drive units, and 1 million energy modules for a 14 gigawatt hour plus total. These numbers are higher than Tesla's original 2014 plan, which was to spend three and a half billion dollars on a factory to produce 35 gigawatt hours of batteries annually, which would then hire 6,500 employees. Since then, the EV market has expanded rapidly, which means 35 gigawatt hours is still not enough to fulfill global demand for Tesla's EVs. Tesla said, we will be investing over $3.6 billion more to continue growing Gigafactory Nevada, adding 3,000 new team members and two new factories, a 100 gigawatt hour 4680 cell factory with capacity to produce enough batteries for 2 million light duty vehicles annually, as well as our first high volume semi factory. Tesla's announcement is unclear about whether these factories will still be on the same property as its current Gigafactory, which is still about 60% complete when comparing renders to the current status of the building. Judging by the new render, these new factories may be in the same building, compared to the existing building which has an L shape and the original and new renders of the building, filling out the L shape would complete the building to look more like the renders. The announcement mentions that some of the $3.6 billion will be spent to continue growing the Gigafactory, but also build two new factories. Previously, we reported that Tesla was building a production line for the Tesla Semi in a new building near Gigafactory, Nevada, so we're not sure if it's changing plans and will bring all this production under the same roof or continue expanding that new building nearby. The new render shows assembled Tesla Semis coming off the line on the left side of the building, which could suggest that their assembly will be done under the same roof, or maybe it's just a render. This announcement comes the day before Tesla's earnings report, which is certainly interesting timing. Tesla set a record for deliveries with 405,000 vehicles delivered in the fourth quarter and 1.3 million in all of 2022, though the fourth quarter number came in short of their expectations. Near the end of the quarter, Tesla started offering discounts and has recently drastically cut prices, signaling that it needed to stoke demand a little after more than a year of significant price increases while EV demand skyrocketed. 
But that's just the $3.6 billion Tesla project in Nevada. According to the latest information we received, South Carolina has also become the next hotspot for batteries with an investment of $1.6 billion. A series of massive investments from Albemarle and Serba Solutions is set to make South Carolina a hotbed for lithium battery production. The first and significant larger investment comes from Albemarle, the world's largest lithium extraction and refining company, which has announced today that it will be investing $1.3 billion into a new lithium refining facility in the state. Construction of the facility will begin sometime in 2024, and once opened, the facility will be able to refine 50,000 tons of lithium annually. Albemarle plans to supply the facility with lithium from recycled batteries and hard rock lithium mined in its home state of North Carolina. Albemarle's massive South Carolina push comes amid a squeeze on lithium generally, with many corporations looking to enter the extraction and refining business in the coming years, including one prominent Albemarle customer, Tesla. Speaking of, Tesla is also well on its way toward establishing a lithium refining facility, and has reportedly even gone as far as considering purchasing a Brazilian lithium mining company. The second significant investment announced today is from Serba Solutions, a North American American battery recycler hoping to establish another recycling plant in South Carolina. Investing a total of $300 million, Serba's newest facility will focus on extracting and recycling lithium, cobalt, and nickel, all of which are materials that have received significant criticism for their dubious methods of extraction. The new recycling facility set to begin construction in the second half of 2024 is the second Serba has announced recently. The first, which has received $75 million in government backing, is being placed in Northern Ohio. These new facilities are just two of many being established in what is being called America's Battery Belt. This area stretching from South Carolina and Georgia in the south all the way to Wisconsin and New York in the north is being filled with numerous facilities from other battery industry leaders, including a strong contingent of South Korean companies that include LG, SK On, and others, as well as newer startups like Lifecycle in upstate New York. Tesla did not say when it intends to break ground on the new factories nor when it expects to start production on cells and semis. It's likely that the cells produced there will go directly into the semis since Musk had previously said supply chain challenges and limited availability of battery cells contributed to the multiple production delays of the truck. Musk had originally introduced an electric Class 8 truck prototype back in 2017 and planned to start production in December of 2019, but Tesla only managed to start producing semis in October of 2022, three years later. How do you feel about Tesla's new battery factory expansion projects? What breakthroughs will it bring in the coming years? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Other than that, thank you for tuning in to Tesla Car World. We appreciate your unwavering support and would like to express our heartfelt gratitude. If you found today's video engaging, we kindly request that you hit that thumbs up button, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and activate that notification bell to stay up to date with the latest happenings in the EV realm. We look forward to welcoming you back for our next episode. Until then, stay safe and take care.